Oh, we need to go, go, go. Are we going to outrun it? Today, we're going to be Coast Guard, and I have to respond to emergencies. Let's get started. All right, so this is a new boat we're using. I've actually never used this before. Let's open this and enter. That water's getting dangerously close to actually flooding this thing. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Let's turn on our lights here. All right, so this is a pretty cool boat. What's down here? Okay, so let's probably start this thing up before we run through a tour. Start turbine. Wait, what the heck? Is this turbine powered? What in the world? Okay, I've never seen that before. A turbine powered, like, search and rescue boat. I have to turn it down because turbines are, like, much louder than normal stuff. All right, we have reverse. Let's turn on radar. And what's this one right here? We need that monitor on. Um, how do we turn that on? Oh, dashboard. There we go. Okay, that's definitely it. Navigation lights. And now I think we're good. So we're going to throttle up here and see how good this jet engine actually propels us. Okay, I hear it spooling up. Is this this is full throttle, guys, by the way. I'm hammered right now. Um, maybe this is just the jet engine spooling up. I really hope this thing goes faster. It has a jet engine in it, so you know, maybe pick up a little bit more speed here i was thinking maybe like 100 knots but how fast are we going 42 40 ish and that's what it's maxing out at actually okay well that's um i wasn't expecting that but that's cool but right now we actually have an active emergency going on if we open our map so there's a forklift that has an emergency i'm guessing it's not in any of this water over here it could be on that island i really doubt it but it's probably on this main land here um let's go ahead and dock at terminal spy cakes and then we have to search this land here to actually find if there's any forklifts um having an emergency but there is a water cannon on this thing we can use. So why don't we kind of figure out how to use that real quick? I think it's like right here. So if we enable the water cannon, it will actually, does it spray it? Um, Is it going to work? I don't know. I don't know if this actually works. Oh, there's like a button up there. Okay, do we have to go up there? I think we have to go up here to turn it on. Oh, that's not even a button. Okay, how do we do this? water cannon enabled um oh so it's not even enabled how do we enable it i don't know it says it's enabled but it's really not we definitely need to get in the pilot seat here we're going for like straight bridge at this point dude those are so many bridges in one spot they should definitely spread those out but here we go four kilometers that does not seem like four kilometers that's like at least half a kilometer right there well, let's probably slow this thing down because we're going way too fast here this 40 knots is definitely not made for this type of boat but um let's run through a little bit of a tour here so we have some this so this is a tour for me this is the actual engine right here this is an active working turbine these are actually um in jet engines in this game that's how you make jets and then we have some scuba diving equipment of course okay we need to turn on lights and we even have a little downstairs area with a whole bunch of ropes and an emergency access slash escape hatch and then we have a bathroom in this thing i wouldn't expect that if i looked at this so we have a bathroom in this tiny little boat here but let's continue going to our waypoint but it does have a pretty cool design like i really like how they did that i don't know if they used custom blocks for that like xml you have to like literally go and like change the coded files for the actual block i don't know why but it's so complicated it really isn't for the people that do it they say but i don't know i think it is dude there's so many train tracks here we're going under like three bridges right now that is insane okay don't hit anything we have to be careful but we are looking for like a actual um forklift and we're gonna use our radar here so it should appear on radar if we do actually detect anything um that is a cool part so i'm not seeing any forklift yet um is my radar i don't think so it'd probably be somewhere over here if it did over here definitely but right over there is the airfield hangar um that looks like an abandoned barn but yes you do store your plans in there even if it's a fighter jet or not okay let's put this on max range actually even if we have it on three kilometers uh it should be appearing somewhere over here so i don't know what's going on i don't know if our radar is working or if the actual mission hasn't just spawned in yet okay so i'm not seeing anything over here we're gonna have to start turning left here go around all these rocks and we're actually gonna go to that docking area right across this entire um island here i really hope it's not a fire because our water cannon actually isn't working right now i don't even know why but that's definitely um an issue here here we go moment of truth we're gonna see something over here maybe um i don't see anything yet i'm expecting to see something completely engulfed in wait what is that uh it might be at that dock right there i see something glowing hold on let's remove our waypoint there is something glowing on the dock over there hold on let's get a better view um what is that oh that's definitely that's a forklift on fire that's exactly what we said we didn't want it to be okay what do we even do uh fire extinguisher any fire extinguisher okay that's lovely they have one right there okay that's gonna have to do i want to use my um pose cannon thing here but it really doesn't work is there any like fire pumps outside of this thing i'm not really seeing any i don't think our fire hose is gonna work but we're just gonna use our fire extinguisher and it should work um is there anyone near it um i don't see anybody yet okay that is a good thing i wonder who called the um, actual emergency line here um one casualty to the hospital oh we just ran into the dock okay throttle down um oh now the water cannon what the water cannon works when we're, when we're not moving okay well that i mean that's useless as heck but okay i'm um, turn that off all right well, let's see up here any oh that person's standing right next to the fire okay i'm running as fast as i can this fire extinguisher kind of weighs a lot but that person is literally gonna die here go 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 oh my gosh we are running so slow okay they're waving their arms at us yes i do see you i don't know why you're standing so close to it that's also probably why i have to bring 
you to a hospital, even though you look perfectly fine. Okay, I'll just set you right here for now. I'm gonna put out this fire. I don't know how you managed to do this, but um, yeah, that's definitely not following the code here. You should have a fire extinguisher. I actually located one of these. Oh my gosh, I got three thousand dollars. Okay, never mind. This made that entire thing worth it. Thank you for that. Well, this thing's definitely a goner. I don't even know how you um got inside of this thing. If I'm to be honest, oh, there's a seat there. Okay, um, oh wow, it actually can drive in here. You don't have a single fire extinguisher actually located in that thing. That is going against the code for this workplace. You are definitely getting fired, sir, but let me um, rescue you here, I guess. Sir, ma'am, or whatever you are, you weigh so much. Oh my gosh, my shoulders are gonna break. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get down these stairs. You know what? I might just have to throw you off my arms. Um, You can land on the boat. There's like some cushioning right there, okay? Are you ready? I'm gonna throw you off the boat. Um, Here we go. All right. Um, Okay, you look like you landed pretty fine. Let me, my turn. There we go. All right, that wasn't as bad as I had to be. Um, We'll bring you through this emergency access hatch here that should only be used in emergencies, but um, you are part of the emergency, so I'll just put you in there. And now I have to bring you to a hospital, okay? So the nearest hospital is the beautiful OB hospital which is located what five six kilometers away oh my gosh that's gonna take forever oh we just completely scraped our side there but we're fine all right sir if you need to use the bathroom you can i didn't even know this thing had a bathroom until i toured it so yep you can go in there have fun i'm gonna lock you in there how do i lock you in there okay i think there's like a button actually inside here okay i'm gonna click lock door um it actually is on okay so what if i do that um Lock is on. Oh, uh, sir, I can't get you out. Oh, uh oh, that's not good. Wait, can I try getting him out of there with, oh, um, this is not good, guys. He's locked in the bathroom. I shouldn't have done that, probably. Okay, how do I unlock this? Okay, well, it it'll work. If I just drive near the hospital, maybe it'll teleport him out. I mean, I'm kind of hoping that's how it works, or I'll see he's staying in there. And wait, I just realized we don't even have the weather doing whatever it wants. So let's go in our menu here. Take override weather off. Wait, what is that? Transport to dock. Why is it so foggy out without our custom menu? Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Okay, we also have to rescue two doctors. Where is is this at um it is it right here oh that's the destined oh we have to go all the way over there that's gonna take forever okay we're gonna teleport our boat to this actual docking area over here so north harbor and we'll just drive up there and we have to drive this entire island and bring them to this what is this this looks like a military base i don't even know what the heck it looks like a runway of some sort wait so i can't even dock my boat there how is this gonna work maybe a helicopter what kind of island is this okay i don't know how this is gonna work but this is some interesting weather here let's open our um weather map so let's go to wind okay so we're, we're in a pretty good area for wind it's no wind fog is yep we're in a big patch right there and same with rain is rain oh my gosh that's a huge storm right there okay we need to watch out for that and then temperature is normal so it's probably like 70 ish degrees all right that's perfect but we have two kilometers to go imagine a shark or a megalodon just randomly popped up under us to try attacking us oh my gosh it's probably so deep wait it's not even that deep i can see my own shadow okay never mind that's a little bit anticlimactic okay we're about to arrive at the island it just appeared out of the fog out of nowhere to be honest oh it's really shallow oh it's really shallow okay start throttling down we're not trying to run into these rocks over here that'll definitely do some damage we do have a reverse so we could probably just drive in uh oh this looks like a perfect docking area we could just drive up this little boat ramp right here it's like they made this for us all right we'll just do something like that and there we go so now we have docked ourselves kind of oh okay that's a little bit sketchy you have to get out of the bathroom i might have to get a locksmith here oh i see their hand hold on um can i can i get them through the wall here it's not letting me i had to pay a locksmith 300 dollars to open this door you are so annoying ma'am okay you know what you are going to this hospital and you're staying here oh there's water um how are we getting okay i forgot about our emergency escape hatch that i threw you in thank you for the reminder all right we'll go up from here oh yeah oh yeah perfect and we're probably gonna close that just in case and where's this thing's hospital at i don't even know but there's a cool lighthouse maybe we should go explore that all right, where's this hospital at? Okay, that looks like a restaurant over there. Wait, what in the world? There is no way that's the doctor standing outside the hospital. What kind of hospital is this? This is the smallest thing ever. Okay, I'll put you in here. Um, Oh, this is the hospital. Okay, looks very professional with a fireplace and a ramen noodles, pots, and a broom right next to the patient's bed. All right, you have fun in here. I'm sorry that you have to deal with this, but yeah, you, uh, he was very annoying. I had to call a locksmith, so you have fun with that. All right, we're back in our boat here. We're going to throttle up and put it in reverse. All right, reverse should be enabled. Yep, we are trying to get out of here. All right, so we have another mission to go to. This is going to be interesting. Wait, reverse isn't working. We have to squiggle around. We're trying to get out of here. Reverse isn't working. Are we stuck on the floor? What the heck's going on here? Um. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's just because I was turning. Okay, that was definitely why. Now we're going to be using this helicopter to transport those um, doctors up here to the safe zone or something. I don't know 
know. I guess that's what we're doing. But we have to turn on all these buttons. This thing has way too many buttons. I can tell you that. But we're just going to click everything I think is important here. And we're going to click that, that. Okay, engines are starting already. Okay, I don't know how. I didn't really click anything important. Turn off rotor brake. Oh, that was all we had to do. Okay, oh my, it's still so foggy out here. It's raining. I think we're good to take off. All right, let's start pulling up here. It is not working at all. I am pulling up. Hold on, is there like a hydraulic failure we're having? Probably. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, Remote control authorization. You can fly this with a remote. Oh my. Okay, you know what? I'm just, uh, this plane's interesting. It's probably, oh, I just realized this isn't the captain seat. We're not flying a plane. Oh my gosh, I just really need a learn my helicopters here okay we're taking off don't hit the tail oh that was so close thank gosh i like dropped that thing perfect timing perfect timing but here we go how far do we have to go um 9.6 kilometers i hope this thing has like some type of auto avoidance system on it because i might run into a mountain oh my gosh what is going on dude there is no visibility whatsoever oh this is very scary um all right we're just gonna rise altitude here um we'll rise to like 300 actually where's our altitude you know i don't even care we're just gonna go oh i have an idea if i turn on um autopilot it should not crash me because it's autopilot autopilot never crashes you i've heard about that before so autopilot's on um can i stand up it's is it are we driving um i can't tell Let's open our map here are we driving oh we definitely are okay so it's automatically driving us to the wrong location oh okay uh, oh it's because i inserted the wrong waypoints okay turn that off and re recoordinated it oh okay it's turning around here um that's very aggressive okay i would not want to be standing up during this but we are but this is all that's back here. We have a medical bed and some other stuff. I don't know why I'm crouching. It's not letting me stand up. Probably because we're flying. It's a little bit buggy, but you know how that is. We have a whole bunch of seating. And let me go in the pilot seat. And wait, where are we going? We're not going the right way. Turn around. Oh, wait, what? I see a bridge. We're having an issue currently. Do you see how wobbly the helicopter is? I don't know what I did, but it is really shaking. I think a blade might have fallen off. But you know, that's just what happens. That's absolutely lovely. Oh my gosh, those trees under us just appeared out of nowhere. It is so scary with this fog. There there we go we are arriving we're gonna start descending here is this the island we are supposed to be at oh gosh okay um i don't even know um where do we pick these people up at okay so there's a doctor on right on this island right there okay so it should be right there oh there's a helicopter pad this is it's like we chose the right decision here all right that's lovely wait that is not a helicopter pad oh yeah it is okay i thought that was a helicopter pad right there but nope that meant hospital and then there's like a creepy tree over here that's lovely i hear sirens going off that is the creepiest tree ever okay um who's doctors okay these two doctors will follow me what about you okay no you're staying here um what about anyone in here are you guys good okay you guys got some glassware in here i'll take that cup for myself looks like actual silver so of course all right so you guys just follow me we're going to my helicopter over here um there's some sirens so we need to hurry this up all right sir you can sit there and then you can sit right there and then we're gonna close these doors because that's probably not safe to have open when there's passengers i would say all right captain c and we're clear for takeoff why isn't our tail spinning um oh it's rotor brakes on um rotor break is off there we go all right now we're spinning what uh i think it just broke some more blade. it's because of that harness right there it's like keeps going up in our blades well now it's a little bit more wobbly um i'm sorry it's gonna be a rough flight here guys all right how far do we have to go all the way over here and then that is oh 18 kilometers that's nothing we've done that on our daily all right here we go all right so we are there on autopilot don't be surprised if we um randomly fall out of the air because these propeller blades are like on the brink of disconnecting from this oh that's forest right below us i did not even see that okay hopefully autopilot has some auto avoidance once again oh we have a map here okay hold on let's zoom out we need to see where we're at it is so bumpy oh my gosh this is not safe okay so now we actually have a map here of where we're at that's a pretty small monitor but we're going over there all right we're on arrival turn off autopilot right about there all right where do i even land at i don't even know okay so it just told us to drop them off here um safe zone destination okay there's a safe zone where's the safe zone at okay so it's exactly right there okay so it's right near that lighthouse it's in that little like no park area we're gonna lower here and land in the no parking area coming in for a very nice landing here we go all right that was terrible oh that's not good at all okay um well it was a landing it's a little bit shaky so oh my gosh okay um yeah please get out of this thing we're having some issues in here if you cannot tell all right everyone evacuate right now everybody evacuate the helicopter we're having some major technical difficulties all right you guys follow me here and i'll bring you to the safe zone is this it right here i hope it is this is the safe zone um 
Mm, I don't know if it is or not. Maybe this um really luxury house right here might be the safe zone. Right, you guys come in here. Oh, it is. Okay, perfect. And I got $5,000 basically for both of you combined. Okay, awesome. You guys have fun in there. That looks really fun. What in the world is that going towards the helicopter? Okay, fully rise, fully rise. Oh, that's not good. We need to hurry up. I don't know if that's a safe zone, guys, because it's about to not be a safe zone. Oh, we need to go, go, go. Are we going to outrun it? Okay, I think we cleared it, but what about those people down there? Oh, oh, they're completely flooded. Oh, gosh, they're definitely going to be dead. Okay, you know, we're going to get out of here before they start complaining again. Go, go. Act like we weren't even here in the first place. All right, I think we're all good. They're probably already typing in their 911 call right now. Okay, we are out. Now, look, the storm cleared up, and it is a tsunami going through. Oh, my gosh, that is a huge wave right there. That's insane. Now, we're going to be going back to that forklift fire thing that was over here somewhere and start rising altitude. Of course, it's not rising. Wait, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, my gosh, the helicopter's going down. Mayday, mayday. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, we are in the water. Yeah, we only have three. We only have... Oh, we're dying. We're dying. We're dying. I forgot player damage was on, and we're at the bottom. Oh, oh we left the door open. Let me out. Let me out. Go, 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 go. Oh, we're dead. Nope, that was not good at all. Okay, well, that clearly didn't go to plan, but that's probably going to be it for this Coast Guard video. Let me know if you'd like to see some more, and the tsunami is passing straight through this town where the um, actual forklift fire was at. It was, like, right around here somewhere. I think it's gone now. But make sure you guys like and subscribe, hit that bell, join the Discord. Link is in the description. But thanks for watching, and goodbye.